Today's movie is Antebellum. Wait, no it is not. Today's movie is Beckman, a new revenge thriller from Pureflix, the Christian movie company. Huh. In this movie, David A.R. White plays an assassin who decides to go straight and become a minister after finding Jesus. But we all know from every revenge movie ever that you can never really quit that life without it pulling you back in. When an evil cult leader played by Billy Baldwin kidnaps his adopted daughter, Beckman must get back in the game and navigate the criminal underworld to get her back, killing a lot of bad guys on the way. I haven't reviewed any Jesus movies on Nuke the Shark and that has been a deliberate decision on my part. Most of them are terrible and would make for some fun reviews, but I don't want to be that guy that watches a movie with a message about loving your enemies and helping the needy and then arrogantly roast it on YouTube. But I'm fine with reviewing this one because it's definitely an action movie first and a Christian movie second. And the message gets kind of lost among all the blood and the killing and the stabbing and the- Watching this, the same thought kept repeating in my head over and over like a broken record. Wow, these guys like John Wick. I mean, they really like John Wick. From the suits, to the gunplay, to the endless neon, to the assassin organization that functions like a corporate enterprise with its own set of weird rules, to the people asking if he's back, to you this scene. You can cult leader anywhere. Just get on your jet and go. This guy is serious. He's a real psychopath. I looked into it. The Koreans, you know what they call him? Agma, the demon. He once was an associate of ours. We call him Baba Yaga. The Boogeyman? They just copied John Wick endlessly. That's not a bad movie to be inspired by, but when you follow the formula of another movie this closely, you have to be just as good, if not better, and Beckman, while not terrible, is no John Wick. The movie starts off clunky, gets better in the middle, and then ends stupidly. I don't know why modern films have such trouble getting going, but Beckman had a gotti level of start and stop timeline jumps in the first 20 minutes. Once the killing starts, the film gets reasonably entertaining. The fight scenes are too slow to be convincing, they didn't do a good job hiding the fact that David A.R. White can't really fight. And the CGI blood spurts were distracting, but it definitely had a low budget charm to it. And a few clever ideas and the cast is really trying hard. Then the ending happened and the movie remembered that it's a Christian movie and ends things in an unsatisfying fashion so that it can have a message of forgiveness. Now that's a good message for our world today, don't get me wrong. But when you tack it at the end of a film with non-stop entertaining and consequence-free violence, it feels very insincere. Overall, the novelty of watching such a violent Christian movie was fun, but the low budget and lack of originality kept this one from getting anywhere. I'll be giving Beckman a 5 out of 10.